guys, today I'm going to share with you what I got in my July Vegan Cut Snack Box. So the Vegan Cut Snack Box, it's a monthly subscription service where you get 7 to 10 vegan snacks and you get to just try a whole bunch of new items. Um, I'd imagine most of them I haven't heard of before uh, and just every month you get sent some new ones. I did get to try this box and review it and share it with you guys but I'll see what I think of it and maybe I'll start ordering it as well for myself. It is $19.95 a month and free shipping in the US. Uh, for me because I'm in Canada it would be extra $8 so it would come to about $28 or $27.95 um, and then I think they do ship internationally but then I think it's you have to add like $15 on top of the 20. Um, but definitely a good deal if you're in the States. But even in Canada, we'll see how I think this, you know, if it's worth it if I would subscribe being in Canada. So I'm gonna share with you what I got and I'm so excited because yeah, it's just a great way to try new vegan items and you know, yeah, I love eating. So, um, ooh. Uh, I opened it and unlike, you know, the, a lot of the beauty subscription boxes or even the dog box that I showed, um, they don't have any extra packaging. Uh, it's just as soon as you open this box that you're sent in the mail, it's right here, which I mean is good because you're not wasting extra packaging. And those look so good. I'm pretty sure I once had Benito Puffs. Oh my gosh, I'm going out for lunch today. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat these anyways just to sa or sample some of them. Um, oh wait, so actually is there a card at all in the bottom? Um, oh wait, so let's see, this is your little card that says everything that's inside. Oh wow, there's a lot of items. And yeah, sometimes they have full size items, sometimes they just have samples. Um, but it's all yummy things. Uh, okay, so I'm, yeah, really want to try these. Uh, the bean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did try these ones before and I like them. So these are the Beanito Puffs and these ones are Crunchy Hot Chili Lime Puff Snacks. So it's kind of like a those Cheetos. And I'm so opening this. So that's what they look like inside. Mmm, mmm. Not so good. <laughs> it's very, it's actually quite spicy. And I like spice, but it's very good. And you taste the lime and mm, mm, kind of have like a smoky flavor too. And yeah, I remember showing the, the bag. So that's cool that you can, yeah, uh, obviously they want you to be able to actually get them in stores. They just want to, you know, familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with them. Um, but yeah, I actually have seen these in stores. Then we have Ocean's Halo Seaweed Chips. Um, it's a crunchy seaweed snack, high in vitamins, proteins, and free of preservatives. I don't like seaweed at all. <laughs> so I'll have to see, I will try these. Um, I went to Japan with my school. Um, it was like an exchange program, and I was only in grade five. But so I was, I had, I had to be polite. Even now, I'd be polite, but still. Um, so I like they'd offer me seaweed, and I'd eat it, and I hated it so much. But I had to eat it to be polite. So yeah, because we stayed with um, two families. Um, yeah. All right. So okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't know, like obviously I know it's seaweed, but it's, I just don't like the fishy taste actually. Before I even became a vegetarian, I hadn't been eating fish just because I didn't like the taste or smell of it. Oh God. Okay. It has like, I'm gonna try to taste like the other flavors, but then that seaweed flavor still comes back. I will probably bring that to my coworker. She loves seaweed. Mm, okay, I need to eat something. I have to have a beanito to get that taste out. Oh. Okay, next we have, ooh. Oh. Okay, I won't try this. This one is Ziggy Market Organics. It's cold pressed and unrefined coconut oil made from coconut oil or coconut kernels. And it's an almond orange flavor, I guess. What do they suggest you do this with? Oh, okay, yeah. Use in place of butter, margarine, shortening, or other cooking oils. Oh, okay, and that's cool, actually. And they say if you're like cooking some veggies or something with it, you can just use about a teaspoon of it, which is about half the package, or a tablespoon of it. Um, half the package in like a pan. Okay. And then put your veggies in. 
Well, that's cool. Then we have a drink slash not a drink, just like a fruit thing. And actually I cannot find the information on this card. I don't know if I'm missing it or what, but no, I honestly cannot see it. So it says lip smacking good mango, pineapple, banana, fruit snack, fortified with chia seed and acerola. Oh, I don't even know what that bottom one is. Um, oh, it's in this cool pack. I think I will have some. Okay, oh, wow, it's really banana-like. Uh, no. So it kind of looks a little gross, but. Tastes good. Just tastes like banana with some seeds in it. But it's good, I think it'd be good for the snack. Then we have an energy drink. So this is organic Gemini, organic energy drink with Guarana and coconut water to replenish and balance tighter bodies or tired bodies. Perfect pick me up. Ooh. All right, I will taste this too. Yeah, I don't really like coconut water in general, but it's, so, no, it's not bad. I'm sounding extremely picky with this box. Yeah, I swear, I'm, I like a lot, eat a lot of food, but... Then we have Delicious and Nutritious Omega Greens, a premium dietary supplement blend. High antioxidant power from vitamin C. Oh, wait, this is to add to water and stir. So, I mean, they have a whole bunch of fruits and veggies on there, so I'd imagine that's what it would taste like. Um, I won't have this now as well. Uh, but, yeah, or maybe I'll try to keep some of this for next What I Eat Wednesday, so I can... Tell you guys what I think. Oh, delicious berry flavor. Well, that's good. And there's a strawberry next to it. Next. All right, we have a couple more items. So this one is a little container of maraschino cherries. And this is from Cherry Man. And it's farm to market maraschino cherries, perfect for topping off a sundae. Don't usually have sundaes, but that's okay. And this says gluten-free as well. And actually, I think a lot of the items are gluten-free. They, um, they don't market as that because not everything. They're, you know, 100% vegan, but not gluten-free. But yeah, they had mentioned um, on the website that most of the things are actually gluten-free as well. We have, ooh, Date Lady Caramel Sauce. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Date Lady Caramel Sauce. They also say to put it on a sundae. Oh, that's cool. They got you this, and they got you that. Um, I will keep this as well, and I will have another Benito in the meantime. And then we have this, which is Samadhi Bliss. Stress reliever, insightful relaxation, helps brighten mood. Well, I am crabby sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps this would help. <laughs> it's Mahima for a life brand. It's a natural stress relief supplement that will help you feel balanced. I don't usually take um, like supplements aside from vitamins, um, but perhaps you're supposed to take one capsule two to three times a day. Gosh, I can barely remember to take my vitamins once a day. Um, so that's interesting, and they actually have a whole little card about it. Um, I don't think I'm that stressed. Oh, here they say take one to two capsules twice a day. I wonder how many you get. Here you get six. So it'll only be good for like two to three days. Um, I don't know if that would be able to tell a difference. Um, and then we have the last actual item is just a sheet of bamboo paper towel. Um, it's bamboo-y, an eco-friendly alternative to paper towel made from organic bamboo. That's good. Oh, it's a reusable towel. Ah, because at first I was like, you know, you like both are recyclable or you know biodegradable. Um, oh, that's cool actually. This is machine washable. That's actually really awesome because <laughs> uh, you know you can always use things to, um, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like a shamwow. <laughs> I don't know if it's that absorbent, but that's like, it's almost like a thin one, a thin chamois, that's what it reminds me of. Um, and then just for fun, they gave some 
little vegan cuts tattoos. We have like a mail carrier, a, what is that, a flying artichoke or something? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So not including the tattoos, I got 10 items, which I think is pretty good. Do I think it's worth it? Um, I think if I lived in the States for 19.95, 20 bucks, I would say yes. Um, for me personally, I, as I found out, I'm quite picky. Um, I don't think that I am because obviously I just buy foods that I like. But looking at this, I was like, I don't like the seaweed. I don't really like coconut water. Um, what else? I don't love cherries, but I'll find something to use them in. So I don't know, for three of the items that I honestly would not use, and especially with the, um, seaweed like on it I will not eat those the coconut water maybe or I'll find something to do it with or use it with or maybe put it in a smoothie or something but I don't know I think $28 for me personally is a little bit much however if I did live in the states for 20 bucks a month I would because well you guys see how much I spend on groceries even and I do you know like not including my Costco hauls I spend a lot buying all these things and I mean I think it's really cool that you get to see, try new items and that they're 100% vegetarian and 100% vegan that's awesome um, I know vegan cuts also makes a beauty box um, I, I'm not trying that one but no it's I think it's a really cool idea and definitely if you're in the States I think you should try it especially if you are a vegan definitely or even if you just want to eat more healthy or eat become a vegetarian and just see different options um then yeah you can you can try those different things so i will put the vegan cuts links below so you can sign up for it or just check out the website get a little bit more information about it but i hope you guys like this i hope this was helpful if you were considering it or yeah you're just wondering what is in or what was in the july vegan cut snack box so i will see you guys next time bye